Dear students, now we are going to discuss Fermi energy and its variation with temperature in intrinsic semiconductor. Okay, so don't get scared by seeing the title. It is a lengthy title. Nothing is there. Two things we are going to discuss in this video. What are the two things? One is the Fermi energy. Okay, Fermi energy is represented by E suffix F. Fermi energy where it lies in the intrinsic semiconductor and then how it is varying with the increasing of temperature okay so two topics we are going to discuss in this video so first let me start fermi energy so what is mean by fermi energy okay already we have discussed this in the uh, previous videos but once again let me explain okay what is the fermi energy or fermi energy level okay so it is the let me write the definition first and then let me explain. So, it is the maximum, maximum energy level up to which, up to which the electrons, the electrons will be filled, will be occupied or filled will be filled at 0 Kelvin at 0 Kelvin okay it is the maximum energy level up to which the electrons will be filled at 0 Kelvin so how the electrons will be filled in the materials so now if you see okay the first energy level that is n is equal to 1 and then n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 like that number of energy levels will be present in the materials number of energy levels so each energy level see two electrons are present like this okay so now after this also after 5 also so many number of energy levels will be existing just for example i am saying okay it is not the exact value so 6 is there 7 is there now at exactly at temperature t is equal to 0 kelvin okay now you see 0 kelvin the number of electrons where it is occupied in the fourth energy level so this fourth energy level is ef what is that it is the maximum okay 1 2 3 4 it is the maximum energy level up to which only the electrons are filled at what a temperature t is equal to 0 kelvin so this is what the definition for fermi energy level i hope you understand what is this fermi energy level so now in for an intrinsic semiconductor we are going to discuss where the fermi energy level lies okay roughly already we have seen in the introduction part but now we are going to find the formula where it lies okay so fermi energy level fermi energy level means two things you have to remember one is temperature t is equal to 0 kelvin temperature t is equal to 0 kelvin and the second task is number number of electrons in the conduction band is equal to number of holes in the valency band so from this position only we are going to start our derivation okay number of electrons i will write once again number of electrons in the conduction band in the conduction band is equal to number of holes in the valency band number of holes in the valency band in the valency band so as we know the values of these two expressions directly i am going to substitute okay so 2 into okay open the bracket 2 pi m e star kt divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 okay and then exponential of ef minus ec divided by kt is equal to what is the number of holes in the valency band 2 into 2 pi m h star kt divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 okay exponential of ev minus es divided by kt 
right so now you see the two terms and whatever the uh, terms are common we can cancel it here 2 and 2 these two are cancelled and then here within the bracket you see 2 pi k t h square both the sides it is common right 2 pi k t h square okay and which is remaining now m e star is remaining right see this side which is remaining m e star whole to the power of 3 by 2 and this side exponential of e f minus e c divided by k t is equal to m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 okay exponential of e v minus e f divided by k t okay so in this step now at uh, what we are uh, finding in the sense fermi energy so see here fermi energy term is there and here also fermi energy term is there i have to find out fermi energy so what i am doing is fermi energy terms and all in one side remaining all the terms in other side so here m e star is not required so that will go this side and this fermi energy term will come this side so here it is under the product so it will come down here okay so i will write in the next page now you see left hand side exponential of e f minus e c divided by k t is there right and then from the right hand side we got that exponential what is that exponential of e v minus e c sorry minus e f by k t okay and then here right hand side m h star okay whole to the power of 3 by 2 is there and here m e star whole to the power of 3 by 2 is there now you see exponential of a divided by exponential of b for hint i am writing here exponential of a by exponential of b so how can we write now exponential of a minus b exponential of a minus b accordingly i am writing here so how can i write exponential of what is a value e f minus e c okay and then what is the b value e v minus e f but here we have negative sign so include the negative sign here first term become negative the second term become positive minus into minus positive so here minus e v okay and then plus e f okay whole divided by k t this is common k t right and then which is equal to so how i am writing is m h star divided by m e star whole to the power of 3 by 2 commonly i have written this right here one ef is there here another ef is there so we can combine both so exponential of 2 ef right minus here for both the terms we have the negative sign so commonly i am taking out so what is there ec already negative sign where i have taken out so ev right whole divided by kt whole divided by kt which is equal to copy the same m h star divided by m e star whole to the power of 3 by 2 right next step okay here exponential of okay the same reverse i am going to do now see exponential of a minus b how can i write exponential of a divided by exponential of b okay so accordingly i am going to write here okay here i am going to take log taking log on both sides taking log on both sides okay why because i need only the ef here exponential is there how to remove this exponential by taking log the log and exponential will be cancelled so that i can get the ef value so what will happen log and exponential will be cancelled which is remaining 2 ef okay minus ec plus ev divided by kt is there divided by kt which is equal to log of m h star divided by m e star whole to the power of 3 by 2 right here i am going to divide this a minus b divided by kt is there so a by kt minus b by kt so how can i write 2 ef divided by kt 
minus EC plus EV divided by KT which is equal to see this term log of X square is there. This 2 I can write like this. 2 log X. Instead of 2 what is there? 3 by 2 is there. 3 by 2 will come here. So 3 by 2 log of M H star divided by M E star. Alright. Next step. I need only EF. This term will also go that side. Here negative sign is there so that it will become positive on the right hand side. So let us do that. So what is remaining now? 2 EF by KT will be on left hand side. And the remaining the term will go there. 3 by 2 log of M H star divided by M E star. Okay. So now the term will be E C E V plus E C divided by K T. Right. Okay. I need only F. This 2 by K T is also going to that side. So how can I write E F is equal to reverse it becomes K T by 2. Okay. And then 3 by 2 log of M H star divided by M E star plus again K T by 2 will come for this term also. K T by 2 okay E V plus E C divided by K T. Right. Now you see K T, K T will be cancelled. At this already I said in the beginning of this derivation Fermi energy can be discussed at temperature T is equal to 0 Kelvin. So, if the temperature becomes 0, the whole first term becomes 0. That is EF is equal to 0. Okay. Plus, which is remaining EV plus EC divided by 2 is there. So, how can I write? Fermi energy is equal to EV plus EC divided by 2. Okay. So, this is what the formula for Fermi energy. So, what is the formula? This, this uh, Fermi energy lies in between the valency band and the conduction band. This already we have discussed in the introduction part itself. Okay, so let me show the diagram then you can understand very clearly. Now you see this is intrinsic semiconductor. Okay, so Fermi energy lies. So this will be the energy of valency band and this will be the energy of the conduction band. It lies in between these two. So EF is equal to <coughs> EV plus EC divided by 2. Okay, so this is what now we proved. Okay, EF is equal to EV plus EC by 2. So, how can we define the Fermi energy in intrinsic semiconductor? The Fermi energy level lies exactly in between the valency band and the conduction band. So, EF is equal to EV plus EC divided by 2. Okay. Fermi energy level lies exactly in between in between the conduction band and valency band. In case of 
in intrinsic semiconductor in intrinsic semiconductor right so now first part of our topic is over fermi energy okay so next to what we are going to do is how the fermi energy changes when we increase the temperature okay so let me draw the diagram for the fermi energy okay the same diagram to be repeated here so what is the title variation of fermi energy with the temperature with temperature okay so now this is the valency band so here the fermi energy will be exactly at the center e f right so here e v this is e c so that we can write e f is equal to e v plus e c by 2 at t is equal to 0 kelvin right if suppose if we increase the temperature When we increase the temperature, the Fermi energy level slightly increasing with increasing of temperature. This will be the variation of Fermi energy level with the temperature. Okay, that's all about today's topic. Okay, if you find any doubt, you can ask in the comment box. Thank you everyone.